Good morning. Just want to give an update on my uh, first solar system, um, the one with the uh, Connex XW 6840A Plus here, and with the uh, Chevy Volt um, and the Nissan Leaf together. Uh, it's been running great, so there's no uh, big issue with it, so I haven't done any big update to it, so I didn't want to make a new video, but I am about to put in some uh, work to it and some update to it so I will make a second video after this one. A little small issue that I had with my midnight recently um, was I noticed it was getting really hot. Um, the turbo fan would run you know six seven hours a day once it started getting putting out power and it's getting hot so I didn't think much of it I thought the ambient was just you know really hot um, come out to the, uh, of it um, there's two fan on the bottom here and then the turbo fans on the top and look uh, when I opened it up while it was running um, the two down here only one was running and the other one was dead so that's why it was getting hot so I contacted midnight um, see the charge control was only you know two years old so they were nice enough to send me not only one fan replacement fan but they sent me a whole set which is two of the bottom fan and then one of the turbo fan so I replaced both of the bottom one to the new one and everything's back to normal again. It was about, uh, let's see, 6 Celsius cooler, so that's about like 9, 10 degrees I guess Fahrenheit lower um, than what it was running at. About the battery, so the my battery bank, uh, I've been, I only checked it every few months or so. Um, I have to back my car out um, to check it. Uh, but it seemed that the, my battery uh, are still within 0 0.005 of a volt within each other, uh, balance-wise. So I'm very happy about that. I've, I have not used a BMS on it, and I think it's going to be fine like that. So in the top array over here, it's uh, in the sun, producing power. But these two panels right here on the side, um, I have to constantly move move them up and down. As a lot of you may know that my space is very tight. I'm in right in the middle of the city. There's HOA, so I have to mount my solar under the fence, keep it low radar under the radar, and I, you know, I've had uh, these two panels against the wall of my house, and they constantly um, need to be moved up and down, uh, depend on the season and how high and how low the sun is, and I am getting tired of that. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to um, remove these two panels and then I'm going to add, uh, instead of putting two panels, I'm going to put four panels, but I will go ahead and uh, uh, add it those rec panels where I'll put a rail, uh, a, a horizontal, two horizontal rail across these two vertical ones and then I'll, I'll mount two of the rec 280 split panels. Um, standing right next to each other. The reason using the split uh, split pa panel is because uh, those panels, if half of those panels are covered, uh, it will still output power. So I'll do that, mount it uh, standing up like this, and then if the sun is low for the season and it's only hitting half of the panels, I'm still getting half of, of my panel power instead of uh, losing all of it. So that's, I think that's what I would do. So that will, you know, for the space, instead of, you know, 600 watts, gonna give me more like 1,000 or 1,100 watts uh, rated power if I switch over to that, uh, those panels. So getting ready to do it probably in the next few days here. I got my Unistrux um, laying down there. So, and then the rec panels over there. So I will, uh, I will get it ready. I will make an update video as soon as I get it in and then I'll probably have to put this on a separate charge control as well so thanks for watching